what's up guys it's Allie welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a little different than some of my other videos it is very 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 personal to me um, I'm really not sure how people are gonna take it but I just I want to be honest with you guys because not really I feel like I owe it to you guys but I've always been very real and I want to continue that and let you guys know that I'm genuine about everything I say um, so this is going to be the video on why I no longer smoke weed. I kind of gave a very vague explanation of that it's just been detrimental to my life mentally and physically. So I just want to elaborate on that a little bit or a lot of bit. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, cause I don't want to have to do that much editing on this video cause I don't want to have to watch this that many times. Um, so basically... I was smoking regularly for about a year, um, and I, I was smoking medically because I have bad anxiety, and it was just, it was very good when I had panic attacks, and it would really calm me down. Then I started smoking just, like, for fun, um, and that was fine. Um, my therapist got a little upset with me because she thought that I was, um, smoking just as, like, a band-aid for my anxiety and panic attacks, and that I can't rely on it um so then like I calmed down on the smoking for anxiety and um I just started smoking for fun and I'm like oh it doesn't matter like how much I smoke I'm just smoking for fun I'm not smoking for anxiety um and you guys know um that I got sick a couple times uh from smoking it's called cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome it's a real thing it's very rare basically just prolonged heavy use um causes me to physically get sick um, I'll link the video, the description to that video down here. It's on the weed tube. I made a video a while ago on why I almost had to quit smoking weed. And now I guess the line has been crossed and I really can no longer smoke. Um, so, um, basically besides that physical getting sick, I realized I had a problem with it because I stopped caring about that and I would smoke anyway. Um, and I would say, like, why can so many other people smoke so much more than me and not have a problem? Like, it's not fair. And I was like, just find what it is about me that makes me sick and change it so I can still use it. So that got to be a big problem. Basically, that just that mindset. Um, one time my parents went out of town and I got sick one morning and then the second I started feeling better, I wanted to smoke. Um, some of you might already have this little idea in your head, but I, I did realize that I have an addiction to this substance and a lot of people don't believe that you can have a marijuana addiction. They're just like, oh, like you can stop whenever it's not physically addicting. It's like blah, 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 blah. If people want to think that fine, but it, like, I know I've met a lot of people with the same issues as me and it is fucking real. Um, at any time I would stop when it was making, it was making me sick. So I had to stop. Um, I would go through really bad withdrawals with, um, like chills, hot flashes, couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's not as bad as like withdrawing from heroin or anything. It's like, all right, well, I haven't done anything besides weed. So for me, this is the worst of the worst. Um, and so I realized like, I just, I did not want to stop. And I knew I had to for my, like, uh, for my physical health. So that was basically the physical aspect of it in addition to the mental addiction. But another part was just, like, it ruined my brain. Uh, like, I had zero motivation for school. I had zero motivation to, to do anything. All I cared about was getting high. Like, I didn't want to go out with anyone unless we were smoking. I wanted to just stay in my bed, hit my vape, um, make videos, whatever. And a lot of the times I was like, oh, it's my job to smoke. So like, that's why I'm smoking. But I just, I definitely just started using that as an excuse. Um, so yeah, I just, it really just became a big problem in my life. Um, so I started to get some treatment for it, um, some different types of therapy. Um, and today I am 36 days sober. 
Um, I've been going to MA meetings and they've just been a really, really big help. I just meet so many people and they tell me their stories that I'm just like, yes, that's me. And it's just, I've made so many friends from it. And it's just really, um, my life has gotten so much better since I stopped because I just, my mind is so much clearer. My memory is back. I have motivation to do things. I've been going to the gym. I've been painting and like, I still am keeping my page because it is what I love to do. I love to interact with followers. I love to make content. I love to, I love to post. I just, like I said, I'm repeating myself, but it really is just something that I love to do. Um, another reason I kind of had to stop, I'm kind of backtracking. Um, just combining the substance abuse with my BPD. I'll link that description in the, um, I'll link that link in the description down below too. It just, it made everything 10 times worse. Like I already had overwhelming emotions and this just made them even more overwhelming. I definitely probably ruined a lot of relationships and friendships from it. Um, and it got to the point I remember sitting in my therapist's office like my head was like against the couch and like tears were streaming down my face and she just goes you've hit rock bottom and that's when I realized I really needed help um and I got help and it, I never thought I could be this happy I'm still not woohoo but like I'm happier than I've been in a long time and my head is so much clearer than it used to be and I'm not saying like if you smoke every day you need to stop if it works for you if you're ha satisfied with your life then sure like I have no judgment about that whatsoever but for me I just I can't do that anymore I and honestly even I couldn't even smoke like once in a while because I know my body I know my brain and I just get addicted to it again um it's something I have to accept about myself. Um, something they say at anonymous meetings is the serenity prayer, which is basically it's God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I have to accept that I have an addiction, that I have the addiction gene and stuff like that. I have to accept that about me. There's I can't change that. Um, but I can change the way I deal with the rest of my life and my recovery and I can make the decision to not use again and something they say is you don't have to use again if you don't want to and part of me for a while was like but I do want to and now I just I really don't I it's just going I don't want to be in that place anymore where I used to be of just needing weed and needing to smoke and needing to numb out the pain. I saw a poster and it was like, you're not addicted to drugs or alcohol, you're addicted to escaping reality. And that's exactly what it was. I would numb, I would just escape everything because I didn't want to deal with life. Um, but anyway, I'm just, like I said, I'm so much happier now. Um, if anyone ever has any questions about addiction or mental health or if they want more videos about my recovery or my treatment or anything like that, I am more than happy to answer. You can either comment below or send me a DM on Instagram. I love talking to you guys. I love getting this information out because I feel like maybe if I had this video a while ago, I would realize that I had an addiction. Um, one thing I got at ME meetings, it's the 12 questions of Marijuana Anonymous, and it's just basically like you can determine whether you have a problem with it. So I'm just gonna read that. Um, maybe it could help you guys. Um, even if it helps one person, I feel like this video would be a success. Um, so has smoking pot stopped being fun? Do you ever get high alone? Is it hard for you to imagine a life without marijuana? Do you find that your friends are determined by your marijuana use? Do you use marijuana to avoid dealing with your problems? Do you smoke pot to cope with your feelings? Does your marijuana use let you live in a privately defined world? Have you ever failed to keep promises you made about cutting down or controlling your use of marijuana? Has your use of marijuana caused problems with memory, concentration, or motivation? When your stash is nearly empty, do you feel anxious or worried about how to get more? Do you plan your life around your marijuana use? And have friends or relatives ever complained that your using is damaging your relationship with them? If you answered yes to any of the above questions, you may have a problem with marijuana. 
when I read that for the first time, it was like when I read the description of BPD for the first time, I started crying because I'm like, check, 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 yes, like, I really do have a problem. Because it's, it's just not a way, at least personally, that I can live life using it as a crutch for me. Um, I don't want to make this video too, too long, but that is pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, I love you guys so much for giving me so much support during this time and really accepting that I needed some time off from social media just to clear my head. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you're, you've watched to the end, like I said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.